everyone, it's Christina, and today's project, I'm going to be using the Halloween Fun Transfers, and I'm putting them on these really cute glass jars that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using chalk paste colors, orange peel, black velvet, and bright white. So I'm doing the pumpkin one first, and you want to make sure, since it's going on glass, that you wipe it down with alcohol to remove any oils and dust or anything, and then you want to fuzz your transfers up really, really well. And just a tip... Um, before you close it up, you want to make sure you wipe the edges of your chalk paste before you close it up. If not, you're going to get some crusties on there. So I'm just mixing it up, making sure it's the good consist consistency that I want it. And I'm just going to take my squeegee and dip it and rub it really well on there. Make sure I fill in the screen parts. And there's the crusties I'm talking about. I forgot to remove the excess off of here, but it's okay. When you remove it, make sure you immediately put it into water. It is fine if you are doing a couple of these at a time. You can just throw them all in the in the bucket of water and let them sit while you finish. So there's the black velvet, and I'm going to do the spider one next, and I'm putting it at the very top, so it looks like it's dropping down from the edge of the glass. So this is a squeegee that I just cut in half, and it makes it really easy for these smaller images like this. Wiping off my excess making sure there's no lines or anything and peeling it up and again putting it immediately into the water these make really cute candle uh, candy dishes candle holders pen holders makeup brush holders and if you want these to be permanent you can seal them with a clear coat but I'm not going to seal mine because you can wash these off with water and use them for you know another holiday and put a new image on it. That's the really great thing about this. It'll stay on there as long as you want it to and then just spritz it with some water, let it sit there a minute and just wipe it off and put a new image. Keeps you from having to buy, you know, things over and over and over again and yeah, so in this one I'm using the spooky with the bats and again I'm going to use the black velvet chalk paste. But as I was saying, um I know we struggle with trying to find places to store our decorations for all the holidays and stuff. So with this, this helps tremendously because, like I said, I can wipe this off, do another holiday. When Halloween rolls back around, I can just redo it. No prob, Bob. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the little ghost. And um, what's so cool about the little ghost that I'm going to use? And it's saying boo is we have a little inflatable out front for our Halloween decorations and the little sign it holds says boo. So <clears throat> I just thought that was pretty cute. I'm going to spritz this with some water because it's not, um, it's too thick for what I want. So we want, you know, yogurt like consistency. I'm writing on the back. So I remember which side, which part is the back and which one goes to which. I'm just going to put it on my glass. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but you got to make sure you wipe it down with alcohol. I think I did say, say that. So just wipe it down with some alcohol because it helps your paste adhere better if you don't have any dirt, dust or oils or anything like that. So I'm just smoothing it down, making sure there's no bubbles so that it can seep. Because if you have bubbles, it will seep possibly or just mess your image up. So these are super cute. I love them. They will be in my house for all different purposes. And there you go. And I'm going to pull in all four to show you. If you are interested in becoming a chalk couture designer, just click my link and visit my website and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have it. Bye.